Hey, Jason here, and today I want to talk to you a bit about backtesting. It's everybody's favorite. Everybody tries it. Most people get it wrong. Here's why. The market, as we all know, is a very dynamic, very noisy system of mostly random prices. And what random means is that there's no pattern. Well, our job as algorithmic traders and what the, the framework takes us through is how to identify the market inefficiencies that occasionally appear in the random noise, that is the market. And the idea of a back test is once you've identified that market inefficiency is to test whether you can make money by exploiting that market inefficiency. The problem is that most people will just brute force optimize a back test by adjusting some input parameter until they maximize some PL output, like the sharp ratio. Simple example, you have a simple moving average crossover strategy, your 50 day and your 250 day moving average. You run your back test a million times and you ask it to give me the combination of moving averages that maximize the sharp ratio. Well, you get a 19 and you get a 149. And you then take your moving average strategy and you run it in real life and you immediately lose money. Well, why is that? It's because you brute force optimized not to a market inefficiency, but you brute force optimized to market noise. So the way that you think about a backtest is not as a way to brute force optimize a trading strategy to achieve some arbitrary profit, maximize some arbitrary profit metric, but rather think about it as a way to statistically test your strategy. That's right. You are testing the statistical significance of your strategy. That is the way to think about your backtest. If you're going to brute force optimize anything, optimize your entry, your exit, your limit. If you're doing a trailing limit, what percentage of that trailing limit should you use a percentage? You should you use the fixed price change. Should you use stops? Should you not use stops? That's the type of thing that you should be testing in your backtest, not optimizing your backtest to maximize a sharp ratio. In the course, we walk through this concept in detail. And not only do we give you the right mental model to think about backtesting, but we give you the tools. And the tool that we use is literally the best and most robust backtesting framework that exists in the Python ecosystem, and that's Zipline Reloaded. Zipline Reloaded is not only a backtesting framework, but it comes with risk and performance analytics libraries built into the ecosystem. It comes with factor investing risk and performance libraries built into the ecosystem, and a whole host of statistical st uh, stats, performance metrics that you can get out of your back test. And they all play very nice together. We will dive deep into this in the course because this is so important to get right. If you're not getting it right, then you're not making money. If you are getting it right, at least you stand a chance.